Hello everyone, this is Tricky, and welcome to part 2 of the top 10 creepiest Pokemon fusions. And the last ones were pretty scary to me, but I found some more, and they were pretty freaky, so might as well continue. And just in case you are new to my channel, this is a series, there's all kind of categories if you enjoy Pokemon fusions, then I suggest that you go watch the rest of them, cause y'all would definitely enjoy them, so go watch them. Go now. Please keep in mind that this video is based around my own opinions. You may or may not agree with me, but if you do not, feel free to list any Pokemon or fusion that creeps you out the most in the comments below. So anyway, enough talking, let's go ahead and get started with number 10. Taking our number 10 spot is an Arcanine and a Paris fusion. Th that face is making me very uncomfortable. I don't know though, people might find this thing to be cute. I mean, in my last creepy fusion video, a lot of people found a lot of freaky things to be cute and I, was, I didn't understand. If I woke up with this thing in my face, I would either punch it or I'll punch myself and try to block out that those terrible eyeballs. They're just, they're terrible, they're awful. And not to mention its mouth, I could just chew on your face. I don't like it. A name for this fusion could be Parkinine, cause why not? At number 9 we have a familiar face. This Pokemon has actually randomly appeared in another fusion video just as a joke. But in any case, we have an Electrode and a Chansey fusion. This thing is terrifying, just look at its face. Um, of course it's supposed to be like a Joker face, and honestly the Joker is pretty terrifying in general, but he is probably one of my all-time favorite villains of all time because he's so entertaining. But in any case, that smile, that face, no, it's not okay, please kill it with fire. And I have a random confession to make, though I have actually said it in videos before. Um, a lot of the pink blobby Pokemon either annoy me or scare me. I don't know why, there's just something about them. Them. and in general pink things make things cute for me except for those things don't get me wrong Chansey's probably my favorite one out of the pink blobby looking Pokemon but mixed together with that terrible Joker electrode face oh no I, and I don't do well with clowns either and it, uh, no mm -mm, nah it wants to kill me electricity I don't know. Moving on to number 8, we have a Mr. Mime and a Magnemite fusion. And if you know me, you know how I feel about Mr. Mime. This- this is not okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> Obviously, eyes like that are absolutely terrifying. Whether you add it to pretty much any Pokemon, it's gonna make it freaky. And everything about this picture is freaky and creepy just because of the glow. The artist did a fantastic job with that, I suppose. If you fuse Mr. Mime with anything, it's gonna be freaky to me, because I do not like Mr. Mime at all. You don't even have to fuse it with anything to make it terrifying. I hate this Pokemon. <laughs> but anyway, let's go ahead and move on to number 7. At number 7, we have a Pidgey and another Magnemite fusion. This is not only creepy, but it's also very gross. Ew, what the f- what? It's like it's like a freaking eyeball crashed on this poor little bird's head or or it's freaking eye exploded and took over its head and just no Cyclops birdie freaky bird gore no I don't do well with gore I know this is not really technically gore but it's still freaking gross and I don't freaking like it I may have been a little bit too dramatic with that, but if I saw this, if this little bird came to sing to me, I'd probably shoot it. I would definitely shoot it actually. Like no, we no, don't deal. Moving on to number six, we have- I don't- what is that? Is this, um, another Magnemite? Or a Muck? Or Pincer? Because of the little horn? We're just gonna say Magnemite and Muck, but what the crap is that horn? I honestly- I really forgot what fusion this was. Help? Let me know in the comments what you think this is a fusion of, because I honestly- I can't think of it right now. I apologize, I'm a little bit sleep deprived. I don't remember what it is, but it does freak me out. It's, again, the eye thing, and it's very gooey and icky, and yeah, it's- I don't like it. Moving on to number five, we have a Doduo and a Voltorb fusion. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny, but at the same time it's very scary because look at its face. It's like it's creepy, but it's funny at the same time, and I didn't know what category to put it in, but I guess it's more freaky than it is funny. So yeah, the name given to this fusion is Dorb. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I should have put it in the funny one. But <laughs> it looks like it's possessed, and it just looks so unhappy. It just looks way too unhappy to be in the funny fusions. 
Moving on! At number 4, we have a Cacnea and a Kadabra fusion. Whenever I first found this fusion, I honestly didn't even find it that scary until I actually just sat there and looked at the amount of detail that's in this piece of artwork. Um, honestly, uh, it's the details what makes it so freaky looking. It reminds me of a cave creature from a scary movie. I know a lot of scary movies have cave creatures that eat people, but uh, I can't I can't think of what it is. But in any case, the artist did a fantastic job with how the skin looks, and honestly, what makes it the most creepy for me is just the angle that this thing is standing, and you can see its ribcage. I don't know why, but if it's like a scary creature and you could see its bones and it's it's honestly really freaky to me. And this is another one of those Pokemon that you would not want to be left alone with. A name for this fusion can be Cactabra or Cadabria. Both names kind of sound okay, but you know. Moving on to number three, we have a Muck and an Arbuck fusion. Now I could definitely see why this one would freak people out. Um, only because... Snakes, spiders, falling, um, being closed in tight spaces. All of those things are common phobias with a lot of people. I'm not saying that I'm afraid of snakes. I'm actually kind of fascinated with snakes. Unless they're coming towards me and want to bite my head off, then I'm going to shoot it. But the snake is absolutely terrifying. I wouldn't even want to look at it. Combining muck with Arbuck, it honestly looks like it's melting. Then again, it could just be a giant ooze toxic snake monster thing. Um, it looks like like it could just slither across you and melt you. And also, just look at those eyes. They're completely empty. They're empty sockets and no, I don't like that at all. It could just, it could swallow you and then melt you and liquefy you and all this terrible bad things. Anyway, the name given to this fusion is Moobuck and I honestly like the Armuk name the best. So we're just gonna go with that. Nah, kill it. Moving on to number two, we have yet another Magnemite fusion. I want to apologize one more time, but, you know. But this time, Gengar is fused together with it. And, of course, it has the eye, but look what's oozing out of the eye. That is not okay. That is... no. That is gross, and that is terrifying. I hate that. Uh, the name given to this fusion is Magno... Oh. Magneg... Magnagar? I almost said something bad, but anyway, let's um let's go ahead and move on to our number one spot. Now before I reveal number one, I just want to apologize for being so lacking in all of my information and my commentary. It's been very, very dull this time around, and well you never know, it might have been dull all along. But I am I am very, very sleep deprived. But at number one, we have a Muck and a Blastoise fusion. The green toxic coming out of its body is not only terrifying to me, but it's just something, it's always been something about that creepy green color that even adds on to the creepy aura of the entire artwork. It has the gaping mouth, again, you know me. It's honestly a really cool fusion. And it kind of reminds me of the final boss from Sonic Adventure 2. I know it has, it's, I know it's not a turtle and I, it's called Bio Lizard. I don't, I don't know why it reminds me of that thing, but it does. But the artist did a fantastic job with this piece. The detail is perfect. It's very scary. It's not scarier than the fusion from the first creepy video. And if you haven't seen part one, I highly recommend that you go see that because honestly the Pokemon fusions from that video are 10 times more freaky than this one. But yeah. So that is about it. Don't forget to let me know what Pokemon fusion you would find the creepiest and tell me one of your nightmares. We, we will share dreams because why not? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more Pokemon related content and follow me on Twitter and blah 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 blah, all that wonderful stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.